Yeah, good question. So I feel like I now, what, what I do now is very different than what I used to do. Um, well, the, the idea of becoming the best version of myself was a bit weird because I'd never really thought much about self-development. The, the reason I wasn't where I wanted to be in my career was other people's fault. It wasn't to do with me um, because I was amazing. Um, I still am. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's interesting because I think there's a lot of things that were kind of lucky in the sense that, you know, if I didn't know what I wanted to do at school, maybe I wouldn't be doing what I would want to do now. Um, but now one of the things that I like to do is hold myself accountable for the things that I share with young people. So I'll give you an example. One of the things that I say is turn your ideas into action, even if that's really small action. Um, so I have a book that you can see in the background, that blue book. Mm. Every time I have an idea about something I could do, it goes in the book and I have to write down one thing I could do today that like I actually could do today. Um, so th- those could be really weird ideas like uh, about property or something. You know, I'm not interested in property, but oh, I have an idea that I could do this. What's one thing I could do today? Uh, okay, yeah, I could do that. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. And I don't want to give people the impression that like I'm this ultra efficient, hyper hardworking guy um, with ideas. Some of the ideas just stay in the book um, and they, those don't have to be ones that I follow. And what's most interesting to me is that young people have those ideas as well. 90% of your ideas will just be ideas. Um, You don't have to follow them all. But actually, how do you find out which ones would work? Uh, And so these steps that I've taken, some things in that book have gone on to make me like thousands of pounds of part of my business. That was just an idea that I turned into a thing. And that thing grew into another thing. And then eventually that's become my TikTok channel, (laughs) which originally was an idea. Or it's become something I was like, oh, maybe I could start a podcast. Okay, well, now I'm actually in the process of making one. Maybe I could start um, doing workshops like the, this rather than this. Um, so I try to hold myself accountable to what I teach and ask young people to do because I feel like I'm in a very fortunate space where I'm young enough to know if things are relevant or difficult that like I actually will do them or won't do them. Um, and often we ask young people to do stuff and they just don't do it. And we're like, why have they not done that? I'm young enough to be able to feel that, but I'm also, I think, old enough or or mature enough now that I can see what's going to be most helpful for me going forward that I couldn't see when I was younger. I I didn't care about my CV when I was younger um, or work experience or volunteering. It just wasn't interesting to me. Um, But now I can see actually that those things I could do, which will help me in the future. Um, And that's what I try to break down as things like work path tests, quick, cheap and easy steps which sometimes happen to be volunteering or work experience. Um, but yeah, the, the one thing I do to unlock my potential, I think is really encapsulated in that book and it's about turning ideas into things. You know, idea is like you know, one or two atoms pinging around your brain. If you turn that into a conversation or a, like a manifesto or an activity you're going to do, all of a sudden it's something more than that. That's a great answer. Great answer. I actually know someone who's a friend of Steve McDermott who um, got like one of those diving boards in the shower so you can write with water okay. because a lot of um, our best ideas are either when we're asleep and we wake up, put it next to us or even in the shower. So yeah, I love that, Jake. Great, great answer. Thank you. 